Hello friends, I'm Siddharth and today I'm going to talk about the seven golden rules for borrowing. Any one of us whenever want to take any loan or think about taking a loan, before you proceed to take any loan, you should be aware about some golden rules. So let us talk about them. First rule, don't take a loan which you cannot repay, which essentially means that do not borrow any such big amount which you cannot easily pay and don't just take any loan because it is available ensure you need the loan only then you should take it number two please try to ensure regular and timely payment why because it is necessary to have a good credit profile so that in future when you go to take another loan then you are not denied a loan if you keep a good credit profile then you can easily get a loan in future also number three try to keep the tenure of the loan as short as possible because if you keep the loan tenure short then what benefit you will have you will have to pay lower interest if you keep longer tenure then there will be a higher interest outgo during the tenure of the loan number four prepay the loan to end the loan faster what's the meaning of prepayment that before the maturity period i mean to say before the tenure of the loan you are having the freedom you should try to prepay the loan either by increasing the amount of the AMIs that is the monthly installments or if you are in uh, say position or if you get some big amount of money then you can prepay in a lump sum also what will be the advantage the either the AMIs amount will can come down the outstanding amount of the loan will come down so you will need to pay a lower amount of AMI in subsequent period that's the advantage of prepaying the loan if you manage to do so number five don't borrow to splurge or invest splurging means you are borrowing money to let's say to make some foreign travel please don't do so because you don't get any return out of foreign travel and please also don't borrow just to make any investment in share market or any such kind of of a speculative investment because the rate of return is not fixed it might take time and you, you may not get high returns or, or you may get even a losses you may get even losses when you uh, when you are uh, uh, when you are actually supposed to repay the loan within a fixed period of time you might not get the return back from the share market or from that speculative investment within that period so don't splurge don't invest by using borrowed money number six you should take insurance whenever you take a big ticket loan like a home loan or if you buy a luxury car or for that matter even a budget car always ensure that you take a loan why because in case something happens to you then would you like your family to have some problem of course not even if the family is not having a problem the lenders the banks who have given you the loan they will seize the assets in order to avoid this kind of this kind of conditions you should take a appropriate insurance cover so that the outstanding loan is repaid by that insurance cover number seven and the last point keep shopping for better rates this point essentially means that even if you have taken a loan already you should try to search in the market that is there any lender who can give you the loan at a lower rate then you can take a fresh loan at the lower rate and prepay the old loan that is the existing one which is carrying a higher rate means you can refinance the old higher rate loan what will be the benefit if you do so obviously your interest outgo will be lower so these are the seven golden rules of borrowing my friends with this i come to the end of video i hope you have understood the video and liked my explanation as well see you in the next video guys thank you